This is an old clock, probably from the 1930s or 40s, and the numbers and hands are glowing because they were once painted with radium. Radium-226 is a naturally radioactive element that was mixed with phosphorescent paint to make dials glow in the dark, especially for military and aviation use. The glow you see today isn't from the radium itself, it's from the leftover phosphor that was activated by the radiation. The radium, however, is still very much active. I'm scanning it with my radio code 103, and as expected, the radiation level jumps significantly. Radium emits alpha particles, but it also produces gamma rays through its decay products, and that's what the radio code can detect. When I switch to the gamma spectrum view, peaks begin to form. You'll typically see peaks around 186 keV from radium-226 itself, and others around 295 and 352 keV from lead-214, plus 609 keV and beyond from bismuth-214. These daughter isotopes are part of the uranium-238 decay chain, which radium-226 belongs to. So when you're detecting a radium clock, you're really seeing the whole chain in action. It's safe to observe like this from a short distance, but handling old radium paint directly isn't recommended. 